Hi guys, it's Saturday, September 28th, and I wanted to share some of the Christmas papers that I picked up in the past month. I think most of these are new collections. I believe the majority of the papers came from a cherryontop.com, and if not there, two peas in a bucket.com. I usually pick a cherry on top if I'm having that feeling that I need quick delivery. Um, I'm trying to work on that antsy, anxiety feeling of, oh my gosh, if I hit enter on my order online, I want my package to magically appear outside my front door. And I'm trying to get over that, but... If I can't, I order from a cherry on top because they do have super fast delivery. Now, that could be because they're located nearby. I think they're in Michigan, which is one state over. And I've got an upsetting, horrible piece of news for everybody. Rusty, our mailman, he retired. He retired. And he didn't even say goodbye. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm better now. Rusty, I love you. Thanks for the years of good service wherever you are, friend. But listen to this. How horrible is this? Um, I think the new mailman, well, we actually have, like right now, I guess they don't have a permanent mailman on our route, but one of the mailmen, I think I used to date him. Now, I'm talking when I'm 17, 18 years old, and it may not be him. He was kind of far away. I was in the driveway, and he pulled up in his mail truck, and I was like, oh my gosh, could it be? Now, the good thing is, I've gained 300 pounds. I've lost 3,000 hairs. I have gray hairs where brown hair used to be. You know, uh, he wouldn't notice me if he was standing right in front of me. I hope. But, you know, I do have one of those voices. You can tell it anywhere. And I'm afraid if I say anything to him, he's going to say, Vicky! And, oh my gosh, I want him to remember me as I was. <laughs> I do not want him to remember me as I am. So, if it is him, and if he ever comes to my door, when I answer, he is going to think I'm unable to speak. Because I'm going to go, Thank you. Okay. Yes, I am Vicky. I'm going to try to change my voice or not speak at all. Because if he hears my voice, he's going to say, uh, That voice sounds familiar. Yes, I know. It's almost similar to fingernails on a blackboard. I've been told that more than once. Anyway, let's get going here. Bye, Rusty. Okay, this is Kaiser Craft. And this is Santa's List Collection. Um, this is the paper quality. And, and this is okay. Um, it's kind of in between pattern paper that you would get from a die cut with the view stack, you know, just normal pattern paper, and in between that and cardstock. This is not as sturdy as, say, October Afternoon, Cartabella, crepe paper. It's a little on the flimsy side, but that's okay. I also think it's a little bit uh, cheaper, too. So this is that uh, Kaiser Craft Santa's List, and this is called Reindeer. Here's what's so cute. Look at the border. Very cute. This is all mixed up because I had put it away, but um, I wanted to share it with you. I I've not seen anybody share these, so oh, maybe it'll help you. This is, oh, this is one of my favorite new collection. It's Bow Bunny Elf Magic. And there's more of that horizontal paper, you know, the Chamel Lane stuff. And there's 
bunches of words, and this is called Fa La 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 La. Look at the border strip again on this one. Blue. Kaiser Craft, Santa's List. And this is called Plum Pudding. You know, I'm not really into blue for Christmas. I like blue for winter. There goes my uh, wind chimes again. I apologize. Let me shut the door. Because those are very noisy wind chimes. Anyway, I'm not really into the whole blue for Christmas paper. However, last Christmas, uh, a couple of people in the pictures had on blue. So, I thought I'd go and pick some up. This is Bella Boulevard Christmas Countdown. I'm loving this collection. And I hope the white dots show. There you go. I mean, even if you're not doing Christmas, this is a pretty paper. And there's the flip side. I am, look at the little blue car. Turquoisey. And that is called City Sidewalks. I've got a couple pieces of that. Here, we're back to Bow Bunny Elf Magic. I'm, oh, oh I was going to say this is my favorite collection. I don't know that it's my favorite, but it is definitely one of my favorites. And this particular sheet is called North Pole. Look at the little girl elf. And Santa. And there's a nice flip side. I don't know what this is yet, guys. And I hope it's showing. Oh. I don't know why I got this. Well, it's December documented by Simple Stories. And if you can see, there's some real light tone-on-tone -tone snowflakes. It's a basic paper. And sometimes you got to get something like this to go with the really, really cute or really pretty pattern papers that you love. you got to have something to coordinate. And that's December documented. I think this is too. It is. And most likely, you know, I'll use this as background or matting. Cutouts. December documented. And this is the cutouts. I like this up here. And I like the little snowman. Look, Rashida, snowman. It's going to get you. That, that is called journaling card elements. And here's more of that one pattern I like. This is called Holly Jolly. And a nice ledger on the back side. Really cute up there. December documented. This would be like cute for you guys who do the December dailies. I love this shade of green. What is that? Like a forest or uh, hunter green? More December documented. That's cute. The Merry and Bright. Now, this is really cute. This is Kaiser Craft. And look, see how the, the insides here are perforated? These, let me show you the back. There you go. Maybe that'll show up. Or not. Okay. This is called Polaroids. But anyway, you can cut each of these out or tear them apart. And the inside also comes out. Pretty cute. Kaiser Craft again. Santa's List Collection. 
and there's the flip side. I think this is what made me buy the collection or pieces from the collection is this sheet and this one is called Photo Friendly? No, Stocking. And I love that color on the back. I love this swirly look. I think this looks great with layouts using cookies. There's that cute border. And the flip side. This is Kaiser Craft, and this one is called Bon Bon. Now, this to me was a surprise. This is Basil Basics Paper, and this is their O oh Christmas Tree collection. This is called Countdown to Christmas, and it almost has the same texture as Cartabella, or like crepe paper used to be. And this was, I don't know, I, I think it's the first time I ever bought a Basil collection. Of course, I buy Basil, you know, cardstock, but this is called Brightly Shining. And it's the Countdown to Christmas collection by Basil Basics Paper. I mean, look at the little snowman inside of there. Cute. And I'm loving the black in it. Now, what in the world? Oh, look how flimsy this is. This is Karen Foster Design. It's cute, and I don't mind. I'll probably use this on cards. Karen Foster. Not a collection or a designer that I buy a lot. This is called Chili Friends. I picked up the uh, Bow Bunny Elf Magic Chipboard. Look at that huge candy cane. Huge tree. It's very nicely shaded so that it even looks three-dimensional in person, but it is flat. This is some very nice big cutouts. And look at the little girl with her arms thrown up. Such a cute collection. This is the Simple Story stickers. December documented. I, I like the little stockings and the snowman. Pretty. This is the Kaiser Craft stickers for their collection. Look at that uh, stockings again, awfully cute. It has some letters on there, labels, a very nice blend of like stickers, shapes, letters, and borders. Now it, it's it's kind of flimsy. It's not bad, but this is not cardstock by any means. This is Bella Boulevard, Christmas Countdown. This is called, what? Hang on, guys. Is it this cute? Um, this is Believe. And I think this is cute, too. Look at the little hearts in there. Mel, did you see the hearts? Are you watching? Oh, this is City Sidewalks. I showed you that before. Bo Bunny, Elf Magic. Look at the little elf peeking out. And there's the flip side. This is called, uh, darn, hang on. Elf Magic Mischief. This is the Elf Magic Collection. This is called Tinsel. And I bought it for this side. And look how it has like that stamp down there. This is called Stripe. 
And again, nothing too schnazzy about this, just cute. And uh, I have it upside, no, it's not upside down. And I bought it for, you know, a background probably. And that's the flip side. This is called Chorus. It's the Elf Magic by Bow Bunny. And the flip side. This is the cutout sheet for Elf Magic. Now, I'm not doing Project Life, but I am starting to scrap my pictures. Elf, or Elf-like. I started to say Elf-like. Project Life style. Just to get more pictures in. And, you know, like usually I will do, I really like this, um, a 12 by 12 and then the uh, separated page protectors to the right or the left of the 12 by 12. This was one of my favorite papers from Elf Magic. I thought that I would use this for Nate's pictures where he writes to Santa Claus and we go through the Toys R Us catalog to see what he wants. And that's the flip side. Isn't that cute? Cute, cute, cute. Elf Magic and this is called what? Characters, and this is enough. I'm sorry, guys. I had that all up in your business that night. Um, this is another reason I loved the collection. Adorable. This is called Chevron, and this is also cutouts. For the Elf Magic line. Dear Santa, define good. Okay. Elf Magic. And flip side, this is called Wish List. This is more of that Basil Basics uh, Countdown to Christmas. How cute is this? And it is called Reindeer Games. And that's the flip side. I like both sides. But I initially bought it for the other side. Who knows, though? This is awful darn cute. I love that it has the basic black in it. Because, you know, sometimes when you do family pictures or where there's a bunch of people. Or, heck, even a picture where there's one or two people. Unfortunately, none of my family will let me call them up and tell them what the color scheme is for the Christmas season. So you're trying to mix uh, peach with blue with traditional red and green. And I think you're, you're safe with a color combination that is offered here in the Countdown to Christmas line. And this is called Twas the Night. Here's more, Basil. Can you see the handwriting in the words? And that reads, A Merry Little Christmas. Have yourself a Merry Little Christmas. And there's the flip side. Basil Basics. And this is kind of cute, too. Look at the little snow hat. Oh, that's called Tis the Season. And I got two of those because I think this will be a great background. Oh, and I love this one. Look. Basil Basic. This is Lights of Christmas. I hope I got two of these. I bet I didn't. And for those of you who like to punch out, it looks like this would, uh, you could use your one inch circle punch. This is adorable. I was so into penguins last year. This is called Christmas Cuties. It's Christmas Countdown by Bella Boulevard. Flip side, this is Doodlebug Home for the Holidays. 
and this is called Christmas Trees, and I like this flip side. I love this jadeite green. I mean, I even have my mantle decorated with this green. It just like is, to me, a modern Christmas color. And look at this. I mean, does this get any cuter? This is called Dear Heart. And a great flip side, too. This is called Home for the Holidays. Love it. I mean, like, look at the little Santa in there. Little house. There's more of those little Wayne Dio. And that's the flip side. Love this. Love it. This is called San Here Comes Santa Claus. And that's the flip side. I seem to always love the Doodlebug Christmas collections. And this is the sticker sheet for Doodlebug Home for the Holidays. You know, I know I have more stuff, Christmas stuff around here. I'm going to have to look for it. So I may be back with another haul share. Here is the uh, Doodle Seals. These are smaller than I expected, but they were only 99 cents. Love this. Let's see. I love these little uh, pillow. I'm hoping you can see that. Love the little pillow stickers. There we go. There we are. And this is the Martha Stewart Crafts stickers. And I think it'll match some of those Doodlebug papers. Remember the one with the Santa and the snowman? This is Icons, which is just stickers from the Doodlebug collection. Reindeer. Again, they always have the cutest kitty type, whimsy Christmas collections. How pretty is that? Glitter. Glitter. Look at the little white doggy. Or is that a bear? Gumdrops. So cute. This is the 3D stickers for the Elf Magic Collection. Arr, sorry about that glare. There we go. This is the layered chipboard. I could live without this one. This is cute. I guess this is worth it right there. Oh, and there's the ephemera I need to show you. No, this is a different one. Is it? Yes. I hope I didn't buy it twice. If I did, I guess there will be a giveaway. Okay, guys, let me lay out the ephemeras, and I will be back. If you have any questions, private message me. And as always, I so enjoy your comments. Gosh, you don't know. There's two times that I can catch myself sitting here in front of the computer, smiling ear to ear. One of them is when I look at the pictures that my son has taken of Nate, and the other time is when I read your comments. I actually